Hey SideQuesters, here's a quick and easy tutorial on how to use our brand new web-based installer. Yes, you can now install SideQuest directly on your Quest by simply clicking a button on a web page. No need to install clients on your PC anymore. This is by far the easiest way to get SideQuest VR app. And SideQuest VR has just received an exciting new feature as well, so make sure to watch this video until the end. So let's get started. Head to SideQuestVR.com and click on Get SideQuest. Before before you get started, we recommend you create your SideQuest account now because you will need it in the final steps. So if you don't have a SideQuest account yet, now is the time to do it. You will need three things to use the SideQuest web installer. A USB-C cable to connect your Quest to your PC. You can use the one that came in the box with your Quest. A Meta account and a Meta Quest app on your phone, which you got when you did the initial Quest setup, and a developer mode enabled. We'll link the video for you to follow that walks you through how to enable the developer mode on your Quest, but let's quickly go through the steps again. First, go to dashboard.oculus.com. Here, sign in with your Meta account, then type in any name that hasn't been taken yet. This is basically going to be the name of your developer account. Check I agree and submit. Meta requires all developer account holders to verify their identity by using one of the two methods, so make sure that you do that. Next, open your Meta Quest account on your phone and go to Menu, Devices. From here, choose your headset and go to Headset Settings. Finally, tap on developer mode and toggle the debug mode. Now that you're all set, you can click on next step. Use your USB cable and connect your Quest to your PC. Again, you can use the cable that came in the box or any other one, but make sure that you're using a data cable and not just a charging cable. Then click on select device and choose your headset in this pop-up window. Now here's where you may face the first issue, but don't worry, this window simply means that some other program is currently using your ADB. Maybe you're already running a SideQuest app or some other app that uses ADB, in which case, go ahead and close it. You can always restart your computer, but if you don't want to do that, here's a quick solution for you. Click Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete and open Task Manager. Under Processes, find ADB.exe under Background Processes, right-click on it and End Task. And now, when you click on Select Device and choose your Quest headset, you will see this window. It shows you what you will need to do inside your headset. So put on your headset, and when you see this USB debugging pop-up, make sure to select Always Allow from this computer. Now, go back to your PC and click on Install SideQuest. Again, you can do all this from a browser in your Android phone as well, so you don't even need a PC. Once it's installed, you will see this confirmation window. Feel free to disconnect your Quest from your PC and put it on. If you've ever used a SideQuest VR app before, the next steps will be familiar to you. First, you'll need to connect the app to your SideQuest account. Hopefully, you've already created your SideQuest account by now. Go to sdq.st slash link from your browser, any browser, PC, phone, or even from within your headset. As long as you're signed in to your SideQuest account, this will work. Here, type in the code that you see in your VR headset. And when you're done, click on Link Now. Put on your quest again and allow permissions. Now you're all set! If you watched this video until the end, then here's the bonus for you. You can now change SideQuest settings such as texture resolution, video capture size, CPU and GPU levels, and so much more right here within your SideQuest VR app. Simply open the menu in the top left corner, click on Device Settings, and make sure that your Wi-Fi ADB is active. You can also enable Wi-Fi ADB by clicking on this Wi-Fi icon directly from the game library window in the SideQuest app. If the Wi-Fi icon is crossed, then that means that it's disabled, so click on it to enable it. And here's where the second issue may come up. You will see a black screen after you click on the button. To make it go away, simply pinch your fingers and select Menu if you're using hand tracking or click on the Menu button on your right controller. You will then see this pop-up asking you to allow wireless debugging. Click on Allow. And in this black screen, you will need to click the menu button again. Now, all of these settings can be toggled directly from within your SideQuest VR app. Just know that if you want to change the texture resolution, once you select the one you want, the screen will go black for a few seconds as the changes are being applied, and when it comes back, the SideQuest app will be closed. But you can open it again from the unknown sources in your library. And as you can see, your new texture resolution will be already applied. Feel free to play around with those settings and of course browse the huge library of games, game ports and custom homes directly from your quest. Thanks for watching and happy sidequesting!